call this meeting of the Blue Springs Planning Commission to order. Ask that you please stand and join in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everyone that's here this evening, those that are watching on television. Uh, before we get into our regular uh, agenda this evening, I have uh, a special item I'd like to uh, cover. Alan Franklin has been a member of this group for 18 years and uh, has decided to uh, retire. And uh, so, Alan, can I ask you to come up here, please? We have uh, this certificate for you. Uh, we will miss you and you. your wisdom at these meetings. Uh, this is presented to Alan Franklin in recognition of your leadership, dedication, and commitment. You're a member of this group from April 2002 to April 2010. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know you were old enough to have this job for 18 years. <laughs> I'll go through the agenda for this evening. Uh, the consent agenda this evening <laughs> consists solely of the minutes of the last meeting. And then we have a final plat for Blue Springs Transportation Center, Lot 1. So uh, are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? <coughs> Move to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All right. We'll move on to the minutes stand approved as read, or as presented. Uh, we'll move on to a second agenda item, final plat of Blue Springs Transportation Center, and uh, <laughs> Mr. Allen. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, members of the commission. I think you're all familiar with uh, the site in question, uh, located <coughs> on 40 Highway, uh, just north of the railroad tracks, uh, west of Sunnyside School Road, the south side of 40 Highway. Try this one. Uh, the property itself is about 18.43 uh, acres in size, zone general business. Uh, GB. Uh, the existing land use is uh, the Blue Springs Transportation Center, which is currently under construction, and uh, hence the uh, request for the final plat before you uh, this evening. Uh, typically, as you know, final plats come before you uh, with rec recommendation to the City Council uh, prior to building permits and construction. However, uh, the applicant, uh, Blue Springs School District, did uh, request and receive a uh, a variance uh, from that uh, uh, timing and we're able to uh, proceed with the construction prior to the final plat. They are uh, reaching completion of that project and therefore coming before you this evening for uh, approval of their final plat. Uh, as part of the staff report, uh, we put together uh, responses to the nine conditions that were a part of the original preliminary plat, which uh, were was approved by the Planning Commission back in May uh, of last year. Uh, that uh, approval was appealed by some of the, uh, the uh, neighboring property owners and that uh, your decision was upheld by the City Council uh, in June of last year. Uh, one of the a few conditions I wanted to highlight, again, the building permits I already mentioned was a reference to condition number two. Again, they did receive that variance back in July of last year. Uh, the applicants uh, also need to provide yet uh, a letter from MoDOT acknowledging that uh, the installed traffic signal and all the road improvements associated with the project have been uh, inspected and installed per MoDOT's specifications. Uh, and one of the uh, primary items of, of note here this evening is that uh, 
at that same time back in July of last year in requesting the variance for the timing of the building permit in relation to the final plat. They also did request a, a variant, <coughs> variance for the installation of sidewalk along 40 Highway. That uh, variance was denied. Uh, the applicant at this time has not installed the sidewalk, nor have they posted a security escrow for the installation of the sidewalk. So those are some of the things that are still identified as conditions as part of staff's recommendation. Again, staff does recommend approval of the uh, final plat with five conditions. Just walking through some of those uh, uh, items of note. Again, one of those, you may recall, uh, stormwater management, uh, a naturalized detention basin was being proposed as part of this project uh, that is still uh, under construction or at least being finalized. Uh, those plans were approved by the city, however, so that is still uh, becoming a part of the uh, project at the northeast kind of uh, quadrant of the property. Again, sidewalks. Uh, the developer is required to install five-foot sidewalk along 40 Highway. Uh, we did identify some of the uh, code language, uh, UDC language that's uh, referencing that. Again, uh, that has not been constructed, nor financial guarantee provided. Um, I'm sure, you, as you'll hear from the applicant here shortly, uh, they are going to be requesting, specifically from, from the City Council, since your recommendation still requires their action uh, next week that an alternate form of financial guarantee be allowed or uh, some additional uh, deviation from the code uh, be permitted. In, in, again, in the case uh, solely regarding the sidewalk construction. Uh, again, with street improvements, um, we've yet to receive a letter from ODOT saying that work has been completed. Uh, I'll, I'll let the applicant clarify that to see if they've actually received one as well at this time, but uh, that was in process when we put together the staff report. With that, I'll fix this shortly uh, after my comments here. Um, the staff does recommend approval with five conditions. Uh, again, condition number one references the sidewalk. Condition number four references the uh, MoDOT signing off on the uh, road improvements. And uh, the, the rest are fairly standard uh, conditions. With that, um, again, there were some attachments in your staff report, uh, some comments from the applicant's engineer, as well as uh, comments uh, to the Blue Springs School District from MoDA, uh, some additional information uh, from the school district, including a letter from uh, Superintendent Paul Kinder to our city uh, administrator, Eric Johnson, dated April 2nd. And again, that's referencing the sidewalk construction. So with that, uh, I'll stand for any questions. Yes. Uh, Mr. Allen, can you give us a quick um, overview of what the committee said as far as the sidewalk experience being denied, what their reasoning was? Uh, sure, just a moment. Uh, if you may, you may also recall, um, back in 2007, <coughs> Uh, this property was under consideration for a different uh, development um, called Hidden Hills. And at that time, the same request was made in terms of varying from the code for that sidewalk construction, and that also was denied, that variance at that time. Um, again, I'm sure the applicant will explain some of the, the reasoning that they're having difficulties with the sidewalk or they would choose to defer that constru uh, construction to a later date. but. Um, Looking here at some of the findings of fact, there were several findings of fact from the Board of Adjustment at their July 1st, 2009 meeting. Um, again, a lot of it has to do with, uh, I believe there are like about four, a minimum of four criteria that uh, the Unified <coughs> Development Code spells out uh, that an applicant must meet in order to uh, be granted a variance and all those uh, were, be, were uh, contradicted by the Board of Adjustment in terms of the applicant's request. Uh, again, that um, the granting the variance could adversely impact the rights of adjacent property owners, and that is development or redevelopment of properties along 
40 highway curves sidewalks were to be required and this applicant would be granted deviation from that requirement whereas others have not in the past um, just looking at some of these here kind of on the fly again uh, the granting the variance would not be in keeping with the spirit and intent of the UDC and that would remove the opportunity to create pedestrian walkways that provide means for movement in the area I think the app, uh, the Board of Adjustment did hear at least anecdotal evidence that uh, there were pedestrians in the area uh, that could benefit from a sidewalk in this location. Well, that's so, why I'm asking because I don't, you know, I don't want to requ require someone to put a bridge to nowhere. Right. But um, I, you know, I'm hard pressed to see anybody strolling up and down 40 Highway. Right. So I thought maybe the Board of Adjustments had it, some something in mind when they denied it's that. It's more of that, as mentioned, that's again spirit of the code, the, the intent to look at um, installing sidewalk throughout all of the city through development and redevelopment. And again, there were uh, a number mm -hmm. of sidewalk um, variances, uh, just going back to 2002, that were um, denied, again, in the attempt to maintain the consistency of, of requiring sidewalks throughout the city. Uh, there were some, again, um, on 40 Highway thinking uh, Blue Springs Rental, uh, JBRS Western Wear, um, again, a, a whole host of newer or developments or redevelopments even mm -hmm. that were required to put in that sidewalk. Yeah, but those those are adjoining properties that where a person might uh, traverse from one business to another. Sure. Um, I would assume the sidewalk's in a dead end at the railroad tracks. It's could work. I mean, be, at for the, the time you know, being, the overpass. Possibly for the time being. Again, I'm I'm, I'm sure the applicant will. Um, um, revisit a lot of those same arguments that were made um, last July, mm -hmm. but uh, again, it's in their documentation. They do acknowledge that uh, they are anticipating constructing the sidewalk or having the sidewalk constructed and being a part of that yeah. sometime in the future. Again, their their uh, communication here that's been provided to you is simply to defer that. Mm -hmm. to a later time not with this final plat as mm -hmm. is required with the UDC. Yeah, I just wanted to understand what the what the reason was for denying it initially but I sure. think you've, we've probably covered that. <laughs> sure and again we can, I can certainly um, I, I apologize I don't have additional copies of this but I can certainly uh, pass around the findings of fact if, if folks would like to take a look at some of those. <laughs> right. but thank you. Pretty standard so. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Allen the uh, Board of Adjustment denied this last July. Has yes. anything happened in the almost year that uh, that they keep bringing this up or that they continue to bring it up this evening? Well, it's, it's required, again, it, since that was denied, therefore it, it remains a requirement of planning, and that's what's identified in the staff report, and that's why um, we, staff has acknowledged that, uh, the school district has acknowledged that, and therefore they have just some additional requests or comments regarding that part of the planning process. Again, all the other conditions are fairly standard. All the other issues have, have been met or are being met. Uh, as a part of the final plan, it's really the sidewalk that's kind of the, the open-ended portion of the discussion. Are there other questions, Mr. Billups? Mr. Allen, if, if I read the report correctly, the, the, the city council is ultimately going to make the decision on this sidewalk, not us. Is that? I'll defer to our <coughs> city attorney for process in that. that that's correct. Uh, as Mr. Allen said, under platting, they're required to either build it or put up a financial guarantee. Our code uh, has a provision that says financial guarantees are such and such and such and such, but are what the city council determines. So the city council could determine that they would accept uh, money deposit, uh, a promise, uh, whatever they want to accept as far as a, as a, far as a guarantee to, to do the uh, sidewalk at a later date. They don't have to uh, accept anything other than the money if they if they want not to. So as long as we have the condition in here that says the city council is going to decide whether or not this alternate guarantee is acceptable, we really don't need to consider that sidewalk as part of our approval process. Other that, than our recommendation. Uh, part of our recommendation because it's one of the one of the recommendations on. But but the thing is, as long as it's as long as it's in there. Then we've but that's it's covered. 
think it's we, covered. I think we need to make a recommendation. Yeah, but we still need to make a recommendation as to, you know, do we say agree with that or do we disagree with it? Ultimately, you're right. The city council would make the decision. <coughs> you, you all can make a recommendation as to that particular issue one way or the other, or you can just leave it to the city council. If I may, Mr. Chairman, I, I think perhaps Commissioner Billis is referring to the wording of condition number one, that it, it is, I guess, uh, implied in, this, in the language saying that uh, if the city council does not <coughs> accept an alternative form of financial guarantee or performance, the applicant shall provide said financial guarantee or install the sidewalk prior to final approval of the final plan. So it's, <coughs> perhaps it's, it's south, uh, <coughs> wording and its uh, implication here that it, it's deferring to the city council but certainly uh, it's just a recommendation from staff in terms of the wording of the right. condition right. Are there other <coughs> yes the, the, the sidewalk is required uh, the only question is whether or not the city council will accept some other financial guarantee uh, to allow them to postpone the construction of it of course, you don't have the, the authority to waive the sidewalk. Well, the council doesn't really have the authority to just waive it either unless they pass new uh, ordinances that didn't require it. My understanding is they're asking the city to take their word for it without any kind of an escrow account. I'd rather have the school district tell you what they want. I'm not sure. But. Right. Okay. Okay, are there other questions for Mr. Allen? <clears throat> I got a question. Yes. Sir. Is the proposed sidewalk supposed to be within the road right away from for uh, 40 Highway? Uh, the way or it's outside. drawn, I believe it is shown as. It says it's in the Missouri. Right, mm -hmm. but it, that's not. It's not required to be. There could be a sidewalk easement on the on the applicant's property. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so it could be placed elsewhere. But at this time, it's right. anticipated. And, as, and I, as it's drawn. And I guess right. I'm referencing the letter from the district engineer, Beth Wright, uh, from Missouri Department of Transportation, who basically states that <coughs> at, at this time they don't expect sidewalks to be built uh, a parallel along 40 Highway, but in the future when improvements are, are made to 40 Highway, then they would anticipate uh, sidewalks as future land uses changes in that surrounding area. And again, that, yeah, that's the comment from, from ODOT. Obviously, they're not required to uphold or contradict the city code, but I, I think the, the intent that staff got from that was uh, exactly, they're not expecting uh, the city or developer to, per, to install the sidewalks for MoDOT's benefit within the right way. Right. Exactly. They're, and, and they're, not, they're not expecting that to occur at this time. Correct. But you're right, as a part of if they were to do upgrades just like um, other upgrades, so as the city's installing sidewalks <coughs> downtown, they, it seems as though they would be considering that at a later time. Right. And right. just just to summarize Dr. Kinder's letter to, to uh, Mr. Johnson that the school district is making that commitment, I'm sure we'll hear about that in a moment, but as I read in the letter, is making that commitment to, to uh, complete the sidewalk in the future. Yes, uh, exactly. Thank you for clarifying that. I think it was clarified as well that it, the, uh, the condition is, is simply referencing um, and as Ms. McDonald noted, what type of guarantee would uh, that, what form that would come in uh, to actually construct that at, at, and at what point. Thank you. <coughs> Assuming that this was already done with the city council and it was required to be done, how would it, how would it be done on the east, far east side of their property when right off the shoulder of 40 Highway, the land goes like this. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, it goes into a drainage ditch. Would, would they be required to, to build a bridge for the sidewalk? I, I think the, uh, the letter that Commissioner Trozen referenced uh, from MoDOT uh, gives an indication to what that would include and that it would include uh, the existing roadside drainage ditch will have to be enclosed to add a sidewalk. Again, in that location. There are certainly uh, additional um, locations that could be constructed, but in terms of just 
placing it along the right of way like you see with other sidewalks, obviously. Okay. That's, again, MoDOT's uh, understanding. I don't know if our city engineer has seen any plans for the sidewalk. So, again, we'd have to review what kind of engineering would be required. Thank and you. perhaps they have an indication, school district, right. in terms of what that might be. Any other questions or comments? <coughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. The applicant, please. Mr. Uh, Chairman. Mr. <coughs> Chairman. <coughs> yep. Before the applicant uh, say it, I want to make for public record that I did receive a phone call from Mr. Cowling from the school district on Wednesday prior to my receiving this package or knowing this was in. And we had a very brief conversation. That's it, but I just want to make it sure it's a, All right. a record. Thank you. Okay. The uh, applicant, please make your presentation. Uh, thank you. And I can sure, sir. I'm Bill Cowling, by the way, and uh, pleasure to be here. I can certainly address some of those questions or kind of show you what we have and, and go back to those questions. Um, are we tuned up? Yeah. We're, we're on. We're on. Okay. I see. Thank you. Um, <coughs> <clears throat> and we, you know, we concur with Mr. Allen's recommendation here. We want, we would like to delay. We'd like your consideration for a recommendation to the city to delay uh, the construction of the sidewalk <laughs> and to accept our alternate funding or financial guarantee for three primary reasons: one, uh, safety, event-driven, and protection of the district or the patrons' resources. First, safety. We feel like uh, asking patrons to cross uh, 40 Highway in order to reach the or gain access to the sidewalk, travel east or west, and then cross back again because it dead ends is just unsafe. And that's what it really boils down to. The west end of the sidewalk uh, would lead into, obviously, the railroad, and you guys have, have discussed that tonight. The east end would discuss it or would empty in or dead end into a, a drain, open drainage uh, system. And again, just feel like that would be unsafe asking those folks to traverse the sidewalk and then and then cross back again 40 highway and i think it was said somebody i think miss culpepper said or uh, the, the the sidewalk to, to nowhere event driven you know we took your recommendations there were some discussions at the last planning commission meeting on this project and at the board of adjustments you know why don't you talk to modot and tie this to an event at those first meetings yeah they denied it and we were also asking to not build it so we got a little smarter over the last year and we were asking to tie this to an event. And the event that MoDOT suggests is the enclosure of that, um, pardon me, well, the open drainage system structure there that is to the, uh, the left of the people there, and then all along through the, the property. And, and also when the, uh, the use of that area changes. You know, we, we are committed to building this, this project or building a sidewalk when the, when the use changes when MoDOT does their improvements, uh, when it's right. And we just feel like now might not be the right time. And then, of course, protection of the patrons' resources. We firmly believe in the highest value of the use of the resources. We've talked before about that. Uh, the sidewalk built today would be unsafe and unused. And therefore, we would, we would strongly recommend the delay of the construction of this sidewalk and also the expansion of these resources. Building it now would not be wise use of our, of our tax dollar. Um, if we escrow it, you have a guarantee that you will fund the cost plus 25 percent. If you take our, our school our school district's commitment that we will build it when the time is right, you're going to fund this project 100 percent guaranteed. And so, um, with these reasons, this is why we're we're recommending your favorable rec uh, action to the city council. And. Uh, Ask to delay the sidewalk and accept the school district and the school board's commitment to build it when the time is right. Now, I'm ready for your questions. We've required escrow accounts from churches, <coughs> uh, other organizations uh, in the past, and I'm not sure what kind of a precedent this would set, just taking <coughs> word for it. That, uh, well, and, and I anticipated that question, Mr. Sullivan, and private developers come and go. In fact, this, this, was re, this was denied by a private developer, and he's not here anymore. Uh, school district and the city is here forever. And I think some, uh, someone asked the question, so we're, I think it was you that asked the question, we're taking the district's word for it. Yes, you are. That would be our recommendation. 
Are there other questions or comments? If you were required to build this right now, what would do you have an estimated cost that that would that, that would take? A preliminary engineer's assess estimate uh, for almost 2,000 feet of sidewalk, uh, some grading um, is somewhere in the neighborhood of 48 to 53 thousand dollars. And yeah, you know, I sat in the meeting with MoDOT, and uh, you run the risk of that getting that getting ripped up, and you know somebody else paying for it. And again, <clears throat> I think by attracting people to use it would be unsafe. Does MoDOT have any plans for any of that? Right Not now? in the next five years. And I think that's in the letter in your, in your packet there. Are there other questions or comments? Thank you, Mr. Callen. Yes, sir. Okay, bring it back up here for discussion. <clears throat> Frank. I'd just like to make a comment. You know, it seems to me that in light of the fact that intelligence improvements on 40 Highway, that it, it, it actually could be premature to actually build a sidewalk if they come along and have to, to redo it and tear it out. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that, and I think for uh, th these tough economic times we're going through, the, they're probably right that the funds could be utilized to <coughs> keep teachers employed or, or, or just utilize the, the resources uh, more to, to affect the, the students positively. So the key to me is just what kind of guarantee is going to be applicable here? Um, does that require the school board to vote on this to get some sort of commitment? Um, you know, I. I agree with Mr. Cowling that the school the school is probably going to be around, and that there's a lot better guarantee that that's going to happen than maybe some developers. Um, so I guess you know it's not really our decision, but I, I guess I'm saying I, I, I think it makes sense to delay this based on what Modot said, and, and the fact that the timing of it doesn't seem like it makes a whole lot of sense. I can agree with what you're saying. My only thing concern is the precedent that this is establishing. If we just take their word for it. Uh, when we were, well, I, you know, I, I agree. Uh, everyone that's going to now say, well, you know, take my word for it. Are there other comments? <coughs> well, go, Mr. Chair. No. Uh, I, I agree with not constructing the sidewalk uh, until it's necessary. But uh, my main concern is money's tight. Money is tight now. But uh, how tight will it be in the future? And it's still going to have to come from somewhere in the future. So I think uh, my uh, suggestion would be to uh, put it in uh, some type of format to where the money is set aside over an incremental period, maybe making sure that there's so much there every year. So just in case, uh, five years from now, we can uh, make sure we have the proper funds because uh, five years from now, uh, we're still going to need the money. Okay. My only thought was that, um, and again, I, I don't like setting precedents, but there was quite a few times last year where you know, we did go against the grain because of the reason of the tough economic times. In regards to um, a private entity, a church, or a business taking their word for it versus the school district is the school district is the city's biggest employer and by far the largest institution, and they have much more to lose if they back out on their word, or if, even if their future leadership backs out on their word, if we were to say, okay, we're going to take your word for it. And that's just a, a point that I'd like to make. They've always been a good partner. I'm not saying I'm all for it, but um, I don't see them backing out. Okay. Mr. Chairman, yes, sure. um, since the decision ultimately lies with the council, I think that it would be proper if we made a recommendation uh, that 
the council obviously has the front final word in that but we would recommend that the sidewalk construction actually be delayed until such time as there is uh, future development um, on neighboring properties what kind of uh guarantee do you think we should require this? I think that that should be up to City Council. Okay. <coughs> They're the old ones who are ultimate re ultimately responsible to the taxpayers and um, I think that by putting the the recommendation in that they build the sidewalk at a later date um, that gives them uh, the council a little uh, leeway on how they're going to expect the funds to be That kind of goes along held. with what Mr. Billups was saying earlier then. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other comments, questions, motion? Is that a motion? Is that a motion? I would make a motion. <laughs> <laughs> um, I move for approval of the final plat PF 410-2559, subject to staff comments and um, inserting in the uh, recommendation number one that the sidewalk um, be developed when the property is to the east or, well, there is nothing to the to the west. Properties to the east develop. Might that cause some certain gray area of what's classified as a development versus a non-development, or perhaps go more so with the recommendation of MODA, make it more official? Defining. Go ahead. Let's see. Let's go. Why not use kind of the wording they have underneath there? I, I would go with that. Would that would that satisfy the? I was just throwing that out there for yes, for make it a whole more of a, a whole of recommendation by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would agree with Mr. Henning. I think instead of tying it to future development in that area, I think the driver is going to be MoDOT right. and what the future improvements are for 40 Highway. And I don't, I don't see why we should make a commitment by, for the school district to make any improvements out there until MoDOT knows exactly what's going to occur with 40 Highway. Which to me would be future development, but yes, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if future <coughs> development occurs, there's no guarantee that MoDOT's going to put it on there. Uh, long-term plan uh, for uh, financing the improvements of 40 highway okay so we have a motion with this as a sixth recommendation yes is that correct we have a second second, second. take one okay we have a motion and a second <laughs> all in favor say aye. aye aye all opposed same sign okay so we recommend <clears throat> approval then The next uh, agenda item is um, the uh, Planning Commission's annual but report. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could we back up? Pardon? <laughs> Could we back up and get, are we retaining condition number one as written? No. Yes. Yes. No. Without no, we Commissioner Culpepper's yeah. addition? And adding number six. And adding yes. number six. Yes. Adding number six. Because it's. Basically number stating. six is just referring to the timing of the per uh, building the sidewalk. Okay. City Council will make the decision. Okay, so condition number one is retaining a writ as originally written. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right. Okay, we have the uh, draft of the uh, Blue Springs Planning Commission's annual report that was. Uh, I believe put together by Lisa Atkinson and uh, it's done an outstanding job, I think, in producing mm -hmm. this. Uh, do we have uh, any questions or comments or additions? I know Ms. Culpepper had uh, one that she sent via email. Are there others? I just want to say that I think, that, uh, as you stated, Lisa did a really great job on this. Yeah. She's put a lot of time and effort into it, and I really appreciate it. Okay, there's no other, uh, yeah. oh, okay. 
We have uh, representatives from a school here. Could you say which school you're from? Tri City Christian School. All right. Welcome to have you. Glad to have you here this evening. All right. Uh, if there's no other uh, business, our uh, next uh, scheduled meeting is Monday, May 24th, and I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Chairman. Chairman. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like the second. Uh, adjourn this meeting. A second. 18 minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Close same sign. Oh, okay. He said it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>